on track this morning. Uh, we left at about half seven from Belverde and the path has been pretty much a highway so we've just been tracking alongside. We had crispy, crispy four degrees Celsius to begin with um, and it hasn't started warming up yet. But we did stock up on gloves um, and little head warmers yesterday so we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Booked into the green, the green albergue tonight. Apparently they've got like vegetarian meals and they do yoga there and stuff, so it should be fun. I'm looking forward to getting in tonight. But yeah, looks like it's gonna be a sunny day. Right, I don't know what's going on with the weather, but it looks like we're going straight into clouds. It's very misty. The sun hasn't come up yet either properly, so I'm not going to burn away for a little while. In other news, I'm very hungry. We haven't had brekkie yet. We didn't order brekkie at the uh, albergue we stayed at. We just had a little snack this morning, apple and stuff, but I thought we would see somewhere to eat by now. We ain't got there. So hopefully something comes up soon. To dry one's eyes and laugh at a fall and baffled get up and begin again. It's getting really expensive too. We're spending way more money in saying and booking these expensive ones. I put my sunglasses on so I can tell talk. Just say what you're feeling about the, the challenges. Well, I think since falling ill, we obviously needed a lot of rest and it's been hard to get back into the rhythm of what we were doing before, which was up walls were more of a challenge. We were pushing ourselves to walk further. The day that Corey we got real sick, we did a 36 km a day, which some people's a lot, for some people it's not that much, but to us it was our longest day on the Camino. And yesterday we only did 11 k's out of Leon. I feel like I, the main reason I did the, the Camino was to push myself physically to see what I could do and I think having these more shorter days and it's nice to take your time and see more etc but like some people say or like Corey said earlier there's a fine line between being a pilgrim and being a tourist and at the moment I feel like a tourist Right, 
and we've just got into Hospital de Orbega and it's very nice. So I think we are going to stay here tonight with M and Cor. It's very pretty. Have a look, have a look. This is the biggest bridge we've seen. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't turned around, sorry. <laughs> I literally thought it was from Ikea there. <laughs> Avocado on toast. Gracias. Hmm, welcome home. 